In fact, it was the release of the manifesto that ultimately led to his capture because his brother had recognized that writing style that he was using for it and um, inevitably led to his arrest. Um, so I think a lot of people, what they tend to do is that, oh, this guy, you know, he he's a terrorist. He murdered people. I don't want anything to do with his ideas. Automatically, they just dis dismiss his point of view completely. Um and I think that that's a foolish way of looking at it. I mean, obviously, he is a very intelligent person who maybe his actions are not something you would ever condone by any means. And I know that you've said that over and over again. I do not condone his actions. I'm not in favor of how he went about his campaign to spread his, inf spread his message. But you do recognize that he was an intellectual, that he, was in, that he knew what he was talking about. He had really well-formulated ideas and... And he put them out in and kind of challenged the public to kind of recognize where we're at in this moment in, in human history, where it's been a couple hundred years since the Industrial Revolution began. And things seem like they're moving along at a very steady pace, but we don't know where we're going. We don't know where this is going to end up. And we seem to be in this lost in this kind of technological bubble of delusion. You know, we can't really seem to get our bearings of where we really are anymore. Mm -hmm. And and I think that your work, I mean, it's unfortunate that, of course, Kaczynski went down the path he did because, I mean, it's kind of an interesting thing to think about. If he hadn't have done what he'd done, I don't know if we would have ever had our understanding of his ideas kind of spread the way that they had. And and by, by no way is that condoning his behavior, but... But because he did what he did and he basically made a deal saying, I will stop doing this, I will stop sending these bombs if you publish this manifesto I've written and, and, and unedited. You know, I want it to be in made, mainstream publications. I want people mm -hmm. to read this. Um, but then you get people like, you know, you, who, of course, you don't want to do anything like that, but you want to sort of bring up really legitimate critiques of technology and where it's leading us. Exactly. Yeah. Well, yeah, you know, I mean, there's, there's a... I mean, all throughout history, there's been a variety of methods that people have used to bring their ideas to public attention, right? And yeah. So there's sort of the the normal, no, the normal peaceful ones, and sort of the less the less normal ones, right? Right. And um, yeah, I mean, obviously this is an extreme case, right? So he's he's taking violent action to get the notoriety required in order to publish his ideas and get them widely disseminated. He. Uh, and I think you're right, you know, if he'd done really nothing, if he'd just been a professor at, at mathematics, you know, at Berkeley where he was, and if he just, you know, typed up some nice little anti-tech essay and tried to get it published somewhere, chances are it would not have been published. It's not the kind of thing that, you know, yeah. philosophical or whatever journals are looking for. So probably would not have been published if it was published, um, you know, but it would have been read by 10 or 20 people and, and that would have been it. Yeah. So obviously this had a much broader effect uh taking the route that he did. I mean it's extreme and and you know nobody condones that, but uh, but the fact is that it, it did get the ideas in front of uh yeah, millions of people uh yeah. that that would have never been exposed to those ideas. And 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 the ideas really are distinct from his actions. There's there's nothing in the manifesto that talks about those actions. Nothing talks about male bombs or killing people or nothing. There's actually no violence at all mm -hmm. in the manifesto, which was a striking uh, statement to me that, you know, I sort of expected it would be there, but it wasn't. Right. Um, something that Kaczynski, of course, is proposing very seriously is that we need, we need to throw off the, we, we need a revolution in a real sense. I mean, it's a, it's nice that we can talk about these things and it's nice that we can, um, you know, have all these conversations about what it means to kind of overthrow technological society and culture. But, but, you know, he's actually serious. And obviously, his actions speak to that. 